This is a video which addresses a very common question asked about pivot tables. In pivot table, all of you know there are four areas. Row area, column area, filter area and data or value area. So the value area always shows numbers but many a times we want to show text and that's by default not possible. How do you get it done? That's what we will see. In fact, I'll show you two methods of doing it. So let's start with some simple data. This is attendance data. So we have three columns, name, date, and status. Now, if you create a pivot table out of this, put name in row area, date in column area, and status in value area, obviously it's going to count the status because status is text. And that's what we don't want. Using pivot table, this is not possible. So we have to take conditional formatting and forcibly put something on top of those values so that they show present, absent, half day. Now, how do you go about doing that? So if you want present, absent and half day here, that's not possible. You'll have to do some other workaround. So let's go back to the raw data. And instead of P, let's put one. Instead of absent, let's put zero. And instead of half day or H, let's put minus one. Now, if you do the same thing, you are actually seeing one, zero and minus one. Now, if you select the data area, we can use conditional formatting to show text. So let's do that. Select the area, go to conditional formatting, add a rule. Now, which rule will you add? Highlight cells. When? When the value is equal to one, then what do we want to do? We are not changing the background or foreground font color, no. We want to go to the number formatting and in custom formatting you actually hard code the word present put double quotes and now when you click apply instead of one it will show the word present and of course you'll have to repeat that for half day and absent and that's done now this may sound like a solution but actually it is not because right now for every cell there is one person and one day so it's either present or absent or half day. But the moment you do some kind of aggregation, this is going to fail completely. So remember, this is going to work if there is an individual value there and you are saying this value means this. Pivot table has amazing features which are rarely known and used. I have actually created a separate course for it. I will give you the link above and in the description. Have a look at it and transform the way you use pivot tables. Now I will show you another approach using the data model. We will use the same attendance data. But this time we will go to power pivot and add this to data model. Now, once you add it to data model, we'll create a new sheet. And now I can create a pivot table based on the data model. We'll do the same pivot table like before name, date and status. And exactly the same problem is happening here as well. So what is the big deal? Well, in power pivot means this is a pivot table based on data model based data. That's called power pivot there you can create a measure so let's create a measure and we'll call it status 2 now in this case i want to look at whatever is the status and because it's in value area and because pivot table is for aggregation we can't guarantee that there will be only one value depending on what is in the row column filter there may be one or more values so whatever is the status we want to combine it together now combining means concatenate but if i put the concatenate function here it is asking me, give me the text, text one, text two. I don't know that. That text is going to come dynamically in the pivot table. And where is that going to come from? That status column. So there is another special function called concatenate X. So concatenate X, it asks me which table, this table, and which column, the status column. And now this formula will work. So now if I put status two there, yes, it is going to show you present, absent, without doing that conditional formatting jugad. Now, of course, this can get aggregated. In fact, you can see that in the totals, it's actually combining P, H, A as required. So now, you know two methods of showing text in the value area of pivot table. After recording the earlier video, I thought I should show one more scenario. So here is a bonus video. I have a pivot table here, but here I actually have genuine numbers. I want to keep them as numbers but I want to show them as high, medium, low. So let's say 0 to 100 is low, 101 to 500 is medium, and above that is high. How do I do that? I still want to show text. So I select the data. It's same conditional formatting. But in this case, I'm going to use between so that we are clear. So I'm going to say if the value is between 0 and 100. Now the issue is I don't want to show 
colors we know what to do we go to custom format we go to number format again custom and put whatever text we want in double quotes now wait before we do anything else whenever you put conditional formatting inside pivot table you will notice this icon coming click on it and see how intelligent it is right now if i go to conditional formatting manage rules it's a hard coded range of b5 e8 that's a bad idea because the pivot table may shrink or expand so click on this icon and see wherever there is sum of amount being shown in the context of expense type and card then you should show this nothing seems to have changed but it's good because now when i go to rules it's no longer hard coded to these cells it will adjust to the pivot table anyway now i want to duplicate this rule twice and the middle one we will change from the range to 101 to 500 and go to format custom format and change it to medium and lastly i'll change this to high 501 and above so greater than 501 i will change the format to high and the benefit of using the earlier option is if i now change the pivot table structure maybe i add something else it's only going to apply it wherever it is relevant a male female part it is not applying this because the conditional formatting rule says it should be applied only where the context is expense type and card so that's how you use conditional formatting in the context of a pivot table of course like share subscribe click on the bell icon you know that already now why am i doing all this because i want 1 billion people to use windows and office to become more efficient and that is a big task and it does require a lot of funding so if you found this useful do explore the thanks button as well so that's it for now thank you